John here from All Miniatures Great and Small. Today we're going to be talking more about 3D printing. Um, and uh, first, I do want to apologize. The videos have slowed down a little bit. I've been working on a couple of longer term videos, and with work, it's just been eating up my time. So that's why you haven't seen us post quite as often as we, we uh, usually do. But anyway, 3D printing, uh, since I got the new Saturn 8K, I've been 3D printing a lot. And one of the things I wanted to revisit was a game that we've covered in the past. It's uh, called Pacific Rim Extinction. And it was a Kickstarter game that uh, was uh, something I backed several, several years ago. I love the uh, IP of Pacific Rim, particularly the first movie, the second movie. Um, not, not a big fan of. Uh, the Netflix animated series was pretty cool. I did enjoy that. But... Regardless, uh, I was a fan of the IP, so I hopped on board the Kickstarter. The game seemed really fun. Uh, the miniatures looked really cool. So, you know, it was kind of a no-brainer for me. Now, during that Kickstarter campaign and shortly after, the, uh, the guys who put that on, which I believe was River Horse, decided to divide it into three waves. Now, we'd been burned, or I had been burned, and probably many of you out there, by this wave concept in the past, particularly with the Robotech Kickstarter, which um, failed spectacularly, and um, we never got Wave 2 out of, out of those guys, which was uh, very, very disappointing. 3D printing partially came to the rescue there as well, but that is not the topic of this video. However, River Horse um, divided their Kickstarter into three waves of, I believe, eight or so models each. Uh, the first wave had the basic game plus some of the mechs and uh, Jaegers to make up that first wave. And then uh, it continued on. Now they successfully released the first wave and the second wave. I did unboxings and covered that game when it happened. You can always uh, I'll put a, a link in the video description below so you can check that out. But there's other videos where I looked at the models um, which were very nice pre-painted, you know, maybe about four or five inch tall uh, models and uh, I, I loved it and then the third wave is where River Horse ran into some trouble now the third wave if you're a Pacific Rim fan had some of the uh, the more iconic or some of the iconic um, Jaegers and Kaiju from the first movie um, that I, I don't believe your collection is complete until you have them specifically um, Gypsy Danger which is basically one of the stars of the movie after the, the lead one, not Gypsy Danger, sorry. Uh, Striker Eureka is basically one of the heroes after the main mech, which is Gypsy Danger. And uh, Knifehead, for example, on the Kaiju side, those were in the third wave. And so you couldn't even play like some of the big set pieces from the first movie um, until that third wave dropped. And then River Horse um, came out and said they weren't going to be able to physically fulfill the third wave due to shipping and and all kinds of craziness, COVID, you know. And, uh, you know, they, they had a good convincing argument instead of dropping off the radar like uh, the Robotech guys did. Um, they were pretty upfront about it. And something that they did that I think was classy since they couldn't get us our models was releasing the third wave as digital assets. So now I'm getting around to 3D printing and bringing it all together. Uh, so they released the remaining eight models as digital uh, assets, digital models you could print at home or get printed. There's plenty of third parties that'll print stuff for you, um, as well as uh, the cards, the the data slate or whatever that's that's called. I forget the Compod. That's what it's called. Um, as PDFs that you could print out and, and use or get them printed elsewhere. Now, that's still not quite the same as getting a, a pre-painted, uh, beautiful mech um, in a box with the cards already, but it didn't leave um, players completely high and dry, and more importantly, it didn't leave the game unfinished. Um, I think the third wave, if you stopped after the third wave, you had a pretty... Um, self-enclosed game that uh, you know you you could add stuff down the road but I don't think you're missing much um, there are some that are missing but that's more a deep dive into the lore of Pacific Rim than anything else so uh, without further ado I got the the uh, 
I had my old 3D printer and it was a Mars and it just, I was having some trouble with it and um, these models particularly are a little bit larger. Um, so I didn't want to print it on my Mars. My Mars went down. Fast forward now, I picked up a Saturn, much larger build plate, and I thought I would give it a go with the um, Jaegers in the third wave. So um, what you see in front of you are three from the, the first wave, three of the, the models. There are, again, eight in total. Now these are um, some of my favorites, so I printed these. I don't know if I'm going to print all eight, um, sorry, I keep nudging the camera just because um, some of them are from the second movie and really not a big, big fan of them. But uh, let's start with Striker Eureka. So again, this is printed on a Elegoo Saturn 8K. Um, I'm not an expert with the settings yet, but you can see I got a very, very nice print off this. Um, now there are some... I, I printed them, you know, kind of this orientation. So all of the supports came off the back. And if you look closely, you can see some support uh, pock marks and stuff that, you know, I could clean up or I could just paint and hope no one sees that. Um, but you can see it's just really nice. His chest is kind of opened up for those anti-kaiju missiles which he famously uses in the first movie. He's got his knife blades out, very cool, heroic uh, pose. Uh, you know, this was one of the ones where when they first announced this game, it's like, oh yeah, we get Striker Eureka. The last of the Mark Vs, or at least so we thought. Uh, but, I mean, fantastic sculpt. Uh, then, I'm doing this from memory, I don't have the, the website open in front of me. This is Coyote Tango which is also from the first movie, but he's kind of a blink and you miss him uh, character. Idris Elba drove him in the flashback. He's what killed the, the giant um, lobster looking kaiju and saves Mako, the little girl. Uh, but very, very cool, very kind of anime Gundam giant cannons on the back. He's an older Mark uh, Jaeger, so his limbs are a little bit more spindly, but um, again, you can just see the quality, which is nice. And then um, I was worried about the quality of the kaiju just because they're more organic shaped, but I didn't have to worry about that. I mean, this guy, this is knife head. Just came out looking great. And look at those, how those teeth printed and just really nice. All right, and this is great and all. Um, I didn't have to rescale anything, and I'll just compare some of these to the um, models that came in the game pre-printed. So, you know, I think at some point they, there were some issues with the scaling, and they rescaled it, and I think I printed from the corrected batch, but, you know, the, the base is the correct size. Height-wise, these guys are... Are good Gypsy Danger had that iconic fight with knife head at the beginning of the movie now these models they didn't separate anything so actually the base and everything prints all at the same time um, I kind of wish they had separated that out so that you could do the model and you could do the base separately but as you can see, the, it, the printer handled it fine, so I really can't complain much. Now the question for me moving forward is how do I paint these guys so that they match the playing pieces here? You know, each one of these kaiju is painted a little bit differently, but they have a really nice um, pre-painted finish. And I would love to get uh, these guys into a game or two. You know, Pacific Rim, the game, is pretty fun. I mean, it's a pretty fast-paced. It's not, you know, it's not super complex or anything like that. It's a lot of fun. And, um, you know, I'm just kind of glad so that, that we got the opportunity to get Wave 3, which for Kickstarter failures that I have uh, backed, that was rare and, you know, a, a good move. 
if you really can't fulfill it, which shame on them for, for not planning better, but you know, again, how can you anticipate COVID and the 12 billion percent increase in shipping? But if, you know, if, if you can't, if you're going to fail there, um, what they did was classy, the next uh, best thing, which, you know, kudos on River Horse for that. I appreciate it. Uh, but there you go. I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the, you know, 3D printing adventures uh, since I've currently got one running and um, I'm having a lot of fun and I'm printing it out. This is just uh, one video of probably a little series where I look at, um, you know, manufacturers, 3D printers and look at the quality of the prints. But overall, I believe um, that you can buy these even if you're not a backer of the game. You can buy these online um, the, as individual STLs, like through My Mini Factory and a few other places. You can just, uh, you know, Google River, River Horse and Pacific Rim, and they, uh, they should come up, which is nice. And it's not just uh, Wave 3. They've actually gone back and released the STLs for Waves 1 and 2, although I didn't get access to those because I got the actual, you know, physical copies and, you know, as far as machines go, these were one-off construction, so you're not going to need multiples of Gypsy Danger, for example. So I got one. I don't need to buy an STL for that. All right, guys, there you go. I'll keep this uh, uh, short. Uh, again, I'm a novice at 3D printing. I'm just learning, but I'm really enjoying uh, playing with it, and uh, I do have some cool projects in the works that I do want to share with you guys, but that's for another video as well. I do appreciate you guys watching. If you do like this, please do consider giving us a like and subscribe and click that bell to receive notifications. Um, that really helps with the uh, YouTube algorithms and helps us get the views and continue you know, doing what we're doing, which um, lets us bring cool videos to you guys. Uh, also, if you like what we're doing, consider a uh, YouTube membership. There's that join button down below. As always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.